I oh my god guys this is pretty scary hold on wait wow hold on let me get back home and I'll I'll explain to you what just happened so guys here's what's crazy and I'm not sure if everybody that watches my videos believes in God I'm sure there's some people that don't so I'm not gonna act like a preacher or whatever but I'm not gonna get into this whole real job I put a rosary around here for every car that I've had right here just I, I just feel more safe when I have a rosary in my car and I had a rosary in my Lexus and you know, I'm, every time I've dro driven this car for the past two days, I'm just like, wait, what's missing? I don't know what's missing. I check, I have my license, I have my insurance, you know, I have my registration up there and I'm just like, why does it feel like I'm missing something? And like, it, it's like something kept telling me, okay, you're missing something, you're missing something, but I didn't know what it was. And it just hit me, the rosary, I was supposed to bring it out of my Lexus and put it in my BMW. That It's so weird, because I'm telling you guys, the feeling was like, like I, I just felt like something was telling me, like you're forgetting something, and I didn't know what it was. And I don't know guys, that's, that's pretty weird, but <laughs> weird in a good way. So I'm, I need to bring the rosary in here, put it up here. Yes, what a lot of you people don't know, me and my family, we're Catholic, we're Catholic. Okay guys, so 5 p.m., I got back from the gym, babe. I know, is that literally you? It looks like you. No, it actually looks like Walter, Jake and Josh's dad. Okay guys, so yeah, I just got back from the gym about an hour ago and I just finished editing and uploading this video. 2017 BMW i8 test drive and car tour. You guys were all asking me to do a full in-depth car tour. Cause when I posted the vlog of myself buying this car, it was just pretty much me at the dealership. I didn't get in detour in depth about anything of this car. So you guys were asking for a full car tour and kind of like me getting in the car and driving and showing you guys around the car. I just finished that. I worked really hard on that video actually. I think it came out pretty dope. It took me about seven, eight hours to do. So if you guys didn't get a chance to see it, go ahead and check it out. Now I have to take a shower because I still smell like basketball sweat. Guys, there's a difference. They're smelling like sweat and then they're smelling like sweat after playing basketball on them. Basketball gym sweat is just bleh. So, babe, I'm about to take a shower and then I could take care of you guys. My girlfriend feels really sick. We can cuddle. You give me kisses and we can watch the games tonight. There's How many games are you gonna watch? At least three. <laughs> so you're gonna watch this one. Guys, she was mad that LeBron wasn't playing because she wanted to watch a good game. This is still a pretty good game, actually, even without LeBron. Oh, and one, Miles Turner. Oh, oh, Richard Jefferson. Oh. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Wait, hold on. It's not focused. Look at Jackie, guys, when she was younger. Hold on. Oh, my God. Babe, we're going to have to break up right now. I'm just joking. Ah, oh, so cute. Okay, and what game is starting in one hour that we're going to watch? Oh, I don't. I don't talk about it. Why? Because I'm over them. Hey, you're not allowed to be over them. Okay, I'm sorry. I know we started, we've started three and eight, three wins and eight losses, but there's still time to turn the season around. So which game are we watching at 6 p.m.? The Suns, but this is my move. Okay, and who are the Suns playing? The Nuggets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is she literally a bigger NBA fan than me, I swear. Okay, babe, I'm about to take a shower so I could take care of you. She's sick, I need to take care of her. She wants cuddle and kisses. And all you boyfriends out there, let me just give you a tip. If your girlfriend is sick and she asks you to do something, do it for her. Wait, trust so me. this one is watching the Suns game Nick, or the other one? There is no face that could explain how it is to watch a Suns game. Okay guys, so we were watching the Warriors and Raptors game. Jackie requested a new game. She has a preference to watch now. What game did you want to see? I want to see Harden versus Westbrook. <laughs> Rockets versus OKC. She, wa she requested Harden versus Westbrook. I want to watch that game too. That's going to be a super good game. On a side note, the Clippers have looked so good this season. They're obviously known for choking in the playoffs. Let's see what happens this year in the playoffs. They're obviously going to make it. But I'm talking regular season only, the first 11 games. The Clippers look like, so far, they've been the best team in the league. I'd say the Cavs are a close second, but the Clippers have looked really good. Go Clippers, psych. Oh my God, has P.J. Tucker made a shot all season? Yeah, Matthew the Suns the fucking... Team. Bro, listen. Oh my God. I understand. I bash Brandon I. I bash Alex Len, but though, the whole Suns team is so bad. Look, I'm going to be bold and say something really quick. This Phoenix Suns team is worse than they were last season. And that's saying a lot. Because for those who don't know, last season the Phoenix Suns had their worst season in Phoenix Suns history. So for me to say, watching this team play, 
This team is worse than last season. That's saying a lot, but that's the fucking truth. No ball movement, no fluidity on offense, no nothing. It's just a bunch of standing around and watching. No rebounding, no defense. Guys, and it's not even only Brandon Knight. Alex Len too. Alex Len is, he is so soft for someone who's seven foot one. And he can't catch anything. His hands are literally like made of rock. His hands are made of stone. Everything that touches his hand, he just drops it. You have Brandon Knight taking shots out here like he's Steph Curry. Why are you shooting that far? Guys, don't get me wrong. You know me. You know I love my sons. I love my Phoenix Suns. But for the love of God, we are so bad. Like, changes need to be made. Whether that's at the trade deadline or the offseason. I don't know. Changes need to be made. This team is not looking good. And I mean, I didn't expect much out of them anyways going into the season. I didn't expect us to make the playoffs or anything. But I didn't expect us to look this bad either. Well, guys, the Suns game just ended. What do you know? Another loss. We're about to go eat dinner right now, babe. How old are we? We're like 90 going to Minnesota. No, we are going to Soup Plantation. We're so old. Uh, Bosley, all I said was freaking Soup Plantation. What's so bad? We're going to Soup Plantation. Honestly, if you're wondering, I'm not even fucking mad that the Suns lost. I'm fucking used to it at this point. Seven years in a row without playoffs. <laughs> I'm here. I'm used to it right now, it's all good. Ah! Why are we so bad? <laughs> no, guys, we're going to Soup Plantation. They close in a little, so we need to hurry up. Wow, my girlfriend looks hot. New jeans and a new shirt. And such a round pumpkin head. You did the joystick here, I wanna play. Okay. Look, guys, it's a joystick. <clears throat> hey, you're doing hard. Okay, fine, sorry. Hey, hey. Yeah, guys, I actually um took a break from Soup Plantation. I used to love Soup Plantation. I used to eat there a lot, but then, they took out eggs. Bosley, why do you hate the word soup plantation? They took out eggs because they went through some sort of like chicken scandal. Bosley, it's me. Okay, fine. I'll stop saying soup plantation. Oh my god. Every time I say soup plantation. <laughs> what? You like soup plantation? Oh, never mind. When we bought him, he was with a lot of other pugs, so imagine one of their names was Suplantation, so now it's bringing him other memories. Suplantation. <laughs> no, guys, I literally took a break from Suplantation because they went through this whole chicken scandal where they didn't have eggs anymore, and they had the nerve to take out string croutons. So you know how there's, like, obviously the square croutons, but there's also the string noodle ones? Suplantation took out the string croutons. So, you know, I, I went on a rampage. I was like, I'm never going to Suplantation again. First of all, no eggs, because, I don't know, they ran out of chickens in the kitchen. I don't know all the died or something so they didn't have eggs and then they just took out the string croutons but we called they brought back the string croutons they have egg again i guess the chickens are alive and healthy handsome and wealthy so we're about to go to supplantation guys i'm telling you what i'm about to say is scary this year's phoenix suns team is actually looking worse than last year and that is a very very scary thought Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who we decided to put in with 30 seconds left. Dragon Bender, your fourth overall pick. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your fourth overall pick should be getting some more playing time. Whatever, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Guys, they close at 9, so we have to get everything now. We came super late. And guys, look, this is my fault how I was talking about the eggs and the chicken. They ran out of eggs. I swear, this is my fault for jinxing it at home. They have no eggs. Okay guys, so we had to get everything in advance because they're about to close everything down. Jackie's ice cream is gonna melt so bad by the time you eat your food. Wait, so if we eat at supplementation one time, does that mean we have to be vegetarians now? Yeah, we're vegetarians. Okay guys, so now I have to be a vegetarian because I ate, eat at supplementation. I love supplementation, I swear. Except not when they don't have eggs. But at least they have the string croutons. Don't you hate my biggest pet peeve on earth? Boy, I think I said peck peeve, Josh peck peeve. My biggest pet peeve on earth, when my girlfriend finishes her Oreos and asks me for some. I'm serious, you did. I said, can you donate some of you? I'll donate anything else. I gave you four, I swear. Okay, guys, I only had this much left. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys, I feel bad. Babe, they're trying to close. Guys, I hate coming to a restaurant right before they close because like I just feel bad for the workers and I feel like they hate us and talk so much shit about us, so I'm trying to leave. I used to do that. 
What are you watching? I'm your number one fan. <laughs> I usually watch them as soon as you post them, but today was a little late upload. So. Wait, guys, do I literally not breathe between my? Yeah, Look, wait, you no. literally say a hundred words Before, and then a hundred more and no, no break. I literally say a hundred words and I go <gasps> Look, play it guys, look how fast and how much I talk You guys could only imagine the argument <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> How much do I talk? I talk so fucking much The arguments literally go oh, through I'm, one word Use six essays. I'm undefeated in arguments. Like I'm the Golden State Warrior, Warriors, 73 and 9 yeah. in oh arguments. Oh my god. You're like Stephen A. Smith or. Guys, I found a California burrito in my room. And I'm not sure how long it's been there because it doesn't look too old. So I want to eat it. I am going to eat it, actually. I'm starving and this burrito looks so good. Look. I am eating this burrito. My girlfriend is so sick. I'm serious. But we already planned. After I shower, I'm going to make her feel better, and then I'm going to put her cereal. Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. What kind of cereal? Chocolate. What chocolate what though? The Cocoa Puffs. Wait, tug it in. The burrito's gonna fall apart from the bottom. I hate when that happens. You're a California burrito with extra pico de gallo. When Jackie told me she wanted cereal, I said, babe, when you feel sick, it's not that good to eat cereal because it has milk and milk is dairy obviously and she said she's never too sick for food ah <laughs> <laughs> guys so my mom is out with my dad she's like on a date with my dad they're both out me and jackie are home alone and so my mom sends a text to jackie right so i'm expecting her to say hey how are you guys or she's texting jackie like hey how is brandon i don't know my mom texts jackie what did the text say how is boss Lee? Like, really? <laughs> I think he said he's okay. Thanks for asking me. How are my you? mom and dad are out on a date. Me and Jackie are home alone. And we get a text from my mom saying, hey, how is Bosley? <laughs> oh. Ah! No way. Guys, life does not get much better than this. Massages from your... Massages or massages from your girlfriend while watching basketball. If only my team was good. Yeah. Wait, guys, look at this. My cousin got it for me from Mexico when she went to Mexico. Babe, it's a replica of yours. I think they, my cousin told them to make customize it to be Jackie's body so I can love it. Mm. No, your butt is exactly like this. Trust me. Look. Yeah, it's exactly like this. The, the color is a little too dark though. But, you cheated on me. You cheated on uh -uh. me. Uh-uh. This yeah, is custom too. made from your body. It's uh -huh. like they actually took your butt and molded it. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is custom to be yours. See, I can kiss it. You're a cheater. Mm-mm. Yeah, My cousin told the lady, make it custom like Jackie's. I mean. It is. That was like the belly. <laughs> she has a belly bump. <laughs> like not fat, but this. Ooh. Jackie said now it really. Gut. Yeah, but you don't wear red. I don't like when you wear red. Yeah, guys. So. If you look from the side. Yeah, it is a little pouch. That is what I have. Jackie always tries to tell me, babe, I'm fat. I'm fat. No, you're not. Wait, are you probably two days in the gym? Yeah, my girlfriend went to the gym two days in a row. That's a record. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Hey, keep it private. Brandon here, aka Brawadis. I'm here to close out this video. Before I get into the final segment, let me just say, last night, Devin Booker had the smoothest ejection in NBA history. He had... He went out in the, the cool... I don't care. I've never seen anybody get ejected and go out in a cooler way than Devin Booker did. This dude is petty. Devin Booker, I know you watch some of my videos. If you're watching this, Petty, <laughs> I was fucking dying. Listen, he is king of Petty. Watch this. So Devin Booker got ejected for picking up two technical fouls. And the second technical foul was some literally bullshit. He didn't do anything. So, you know, he was like, okay. And he's a really, really young player. It's only his second year. He just turned 20 years old and he's never been ejected before. So, you know, the ref throws him out. And first Booker looks, he's like smiling and he's like, he asked the ref, he's like, well, where do I go? And you know, Booker, listen, I know you've never been ejected before, but you've been watching basketball your whole life. You know where you go after you get ejected. So, you know, he's being petty. He asked the ref, he's like, where do I go? And the ref points him to the exit. So Booker then looks at the ref and he goes like this. He gives him a fucking, the most sarcastic thumbs up I have ever seen in my life. 
okay? He then looks at the son's bench and he waves like this. He then walks to the, he's then walking to the locker room, right? Security's behind him, they're escorting him out because he got thrown out of the game. He stops for a fan and signs an autograph. And security's looking at him like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? After he signs the autograph, he then fist bumps another fan and then he leaves the arena. So, you know, you get ejected, you leave the arena. No, Devin Booker made sure his time was worth it. Devin Booker, this is what makes you the greatest of all time. You know, they have Jordan, they have LeBron, you know, then people think Kobe, but Devin Booker is obviously the greatest player of all time. So, it's honestly, the smoothest ejection I've ever seen in my whole life. I was dying. Yo, and wait, on a side note, Drake is wilding out with Doris Burke. That is not okay. When I seen that shirt, I was like, I knew right away before they even interviewed Drake, I was like, wait, that's Doris Burke. And then he invited her over for dinner. Then she tweeted at him. No, Drake, mm, I don't know. In my opinion, Rihanna or even fucking Taylor Swift. You take Taylor Swift, but not Doris Burke. Hell, even take Trey Burke, but not Doris Burke. Drake's gone wild. I guess the money gets to his head. I don't know. Anyways, in case you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you guys probably have not heard, but Christopher London, LSK, AKA Mr. Band from 2K, which I'm part of the movement, free LSK, because that's pretty fucked up. But anyways, him and his homie, Jester the Laser, they challenged me to a basketball game, a two-on-two -two basketball game. You know, their homies, Chris, Jesser. So they challenged me, and you know, I was so tempted. I was about to pick my phone up. I was about to hit up Devin Booker. I was about to hit up Eric Bledsoe. Kind of like a little special guest appearance and surprise them and just show up to the gym with Devin fucking Booker. But Devin Booker is mid-season right now. He's in the middle of a the season. They're on a road trip. They're on a six-game road trip far on the East Coast. So there's no way I could do that. And... I didn't want to be cheap. I didn't want to cheat. So I hit up my boy Ali. You guys know Ali, obviously. You guys love him. Shout out to the Bro Awada squad, that Ali. We're getting ready to play them. We're going to play them this weekend, a two on two. Me and Ali against Chris and Jess. I know Chris London, like, I don't know, eight feet tall or whatever, however tall he is. And Jess is obviously no joke. I've seen both, I've seen highlights of both of them playing. So um, this is not going to be easy. I'm not saying this is easy. They obviously have the height advantage, in case you didn't know. Jester's over six feet tall, and Chris London, like I said, is, I don't know if you guys know this guy that goes by the name of Kevin Durant, but yeah, they're the same height. So, it's not gonna be, e oh, um, what is this? Chris London just actually just tweeted a video to me. We ready for this weekend. Ball never stops around here. Well, ball never stops around here either. Honestly, Chris, in case you didn't know, I'm about to go play some ball. I know, the fucking clown shoes don't, it's fine. Don't roast me, but. I'm about to go play ball right now too, but let me check what this video is all about. We ready for this weekend at Broadis? Let's see. Broadis, hope you're ready, big boy. Trust me, daddy. Give me one second, really quick. Uh, hold on, let me see. He just dunked that one hand off the backboard, correct? Unless I'm seeing wrong. Hold on, guys. I just, I, I gotta make a call really quick. Hold on. So let me just make a call to uh, the homie really quick. And uh, we'll get this taken care of. So I'm just playing. What do I need Eric Bledsoe for? Like I said, this dude's like eight feet tall. It's not that hard to dunk when you're standing that tall. I mean, look at look at Alex Len. He's fucking trash, but he could dunk the ball. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. For those who can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Uh oh, let's see if he has a jumper. Uh oh, D book. I. Oh. And the three pointer. Oh no. Oh, he's going Steph range. He's going Steph range. Six foot green light <laughs> machines. We out here, dog. Gang. Like I said, man, these dudes could ball. I've seen. Obviously not this video. I've seen highlights of them play. I've seen the both of them play. They obviously have the height advantage. That's that's no secret. They're, I don't know. There's this little saying called heart over height. And that's what we're going to go by. Ask Tyler Eulis or um, <clears throat> former Phoenix Sun all-star Isaiah Thomas. Ask them. Because let me tell you, they're both my height. So we're going to go into this weekend. We're going to go into this game. Me and my boy Ali. Ali's only 6'3". So we're going to go into this game with that mindset. Heart over height. Chris, Jesser, we're ready. We're ready. But it doesn't end there. It's not just the game. There's a stake. Loser has to buy the opposing team pairs of shoes of their choice from the mall after we play. So, 
that adds motivation. You don't, I mean, nobody wants to lose and go to the mall filled with embarrassment and buy the other team pairs of shoes. Are you kidding me? So they challenged us. So I'm guessing this video is going to be on one of their channels, either Jester the Laser or Christopher London. I'm not sure. For one last time, free LSK. Like I said, these dudes can ball, but they're still opponents. We don't give too much props to the opponents. So we'll see what's going to happen. They do have the height. They do have the advantage. But, um, We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's time to go play some lunchtime basketball. Brian actually played in my basketball game yesterday. I got him on the team. I bugged and bugged the manager of the team until he put Brian on. So me and Brian actually played on the same basketball team yesterday. I'm not gonna say if we won or lost, but I did record the whole game. That's going to be up Saturday. That, however, is not going to be my next basketball game because the next basketball game video that I upload is going to be the one from last week. The reason is because, in case you don't know, my chip broke. My SD card chip broke, then when I finally got it back, I was one week behind. So I'm going to upload my last week basketball game tomorrow, and then after that, the basketball game with Brian is gonna go up. So right now, you guys are behind two games, but I'm gonna get both of those games up for you by this weekend. So my next basketball league video is going to be of last week where it's just me myself and then the one after that is going to be from yesterday where it's me and brian on the same team 